Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Caves of Cud. A.K.A. Cuds of Cave, A.K.A. Cock. A.K.A. The Greatest RPG Roguelike of All Time. It's your boy Rograt, A.K.A. Little Ratty, A.K.A. Rodent Spawn, A.K.A. Your Mother's Favourite. I don't know where this energy is coming from, but good morning. It's very early. Um, and I wanted to record the next installment. Um, we have a mission today to go to the Rainbow Wood, which is normally hell on earth. But since we have Ooze Rep, should be pretty good. Um, we've done pretty much all of the historic sites that aren't over here. We also now have the ability to go to the Freehold, Ezra, and the Stilt. I'm actually just going to start today by just moseying on over to the stilt here. And of course getting lost along the way. It wouldn't be Caves of Cud if you didn't have the uh, the the mental compass of a friggin ball of fried cheese. But um, hey look at that see. My brain is made of cheese and I must scream. Ah, I see loot though. You know, I can screw your explosive. Ooh, a double. Look at that. Bing bong. All right. God, I'm good. All right. Um, let's keep exploring here. I see scrap on the floor, which is why I'm happy to stop here. Okay. Ooh, we managed to skin that puma and get a puma kite in. We learned the location of a legendary chef. Ah, we may want to pay a visit, actually. Somebody ate a bunch of fruit belonging to the villagers of Illep. Wow, nobody cares, okay? That's not interesting. Yeah, I think we'll pay a visit to this legendary chef, assuming they're not in a really obscure place. Because as we know, chefs can have some good stuff on them. And that's exactly why we're going to the stilt right now. Okay, we are lost. We are also inspired, you know. Let's let's cook something up. Then why don't we preserve some uh, some stuff here? We we'll preserve a little love injector. We'll preserve uh, a skulk injector. We'll do a rubber gum. This is all stuff I would I'm probably not going to use. Uber nostrum is very valuable. We're going to leave that. We can do one blaze. Um, the gallbed glands. We'll do all of those. We'll also do one salve injector. And we'll do, you know, we'll do two yuck wheat. There we go. Never ever, well, actually this isn't true. I was going to say never preserve yonder cane. It's actually really stupid. You totally should preserve yonder cane. The benefit of using yonder cane raw is that you it just gives you teleportation. However, of course, when you preserve it, you, you get a random effect it will still be related to teleportation but it may not be as useful uh all right let's cook some stuff up here this let's, let's go with uh you know what why don't we go love injector i'm feeling very loving right now let's go love and let's go blaze i can i can use one more thing if i want uh you know what we'll go full we'll go crazy we'll go rubber gum Electric resist. Hmm. When you jump, no thanks, you can use fire breath. If you already have fire breath, it's enhanced. Whenever you jump, you beguile a creature. You know what? The electrical resist itself, pretty useful. Could have used that last episode when we took out the, uh... When we invoked the chaos spiel. When we took out the Earl of Omen porch. Not the easiest thing in the world to get electrical resist. Electrical damage does a... Uh, a lot a lot a lot of damage because most things don't know how to combat it apparently we've been here before hey immediately lost you love it <laughs> dromad wait we have we been here i didn't get the pop-up about you spot a dromad so maybe we've been here man you know what we're getting a lot of procs from trash divining it's kind of crazy Mm. 
let's go speak with this dry man. Um, I did say that we wanted a glow sphere, did I not? So that I can make my... Uh, my gloves gesticulating? Yes, I believe I did say that. To answer my own question. So let's buy that glow sphere. It does mean removing this, but since we only have a 20% chance to hit with this hand, I'm happy to have a glow sphere here. I would eventually like to replace this with a shield. Um, you do eventually get a... Spoilers, you do eventually get a second floating nearby slot, so... Not too worried about that. Do we still actually... Yeah, we, we still have juice in our nuclear cell. Okay. No more lost. Good, 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 good. Ooh, we find a lair. Ooh, okay, this is a good one. A legendary mechanimus pilgrim. Come on, pilgrim. Shout out if you know that, well, that album. It's a great album. If you like pixies, go and listen to Come on, Pilgrim. And Surfer Rosa and Doolittle, for that matter. Listen to all of their early stuff, okay? That's an order. Alright. Let's take out these nerds. Alright, yeah, you can deal with that. Let's go downstairs. So, I think these Mechanimus Pilgrims are the ones that carry Eater's Nectar Injectors. Unless I'm mistaken. Of course, we are still very much looking... Oh my god, I literally just bought a Glow Sphere. Welcome to Cud. Um... Anyway. Let's speak to Matthew over here. What's your deal, Matthew? Hated by beetles, just like by the putus. You and me both, buddy. You know what? Have some water. Screw those guys. Hey, we can now learn proselytize. No, okay, they're not the ones that carry... Okay, there's a member of the Mechanimists that carries... Um, he is Nectar Injectors. It's clearly not the Pilgrims. <clears throat> it might be the Corollas or something. Anyway, why don't we learn proselytize? There we go. It's time to make a friend. We've gone this long without a single friend. Also, what this means, I mean, our ego is garbage, so it's probably not going to proc very often, but when it does proc, oh baby. Boom. Let's just start chucking some books their way for now. The main reason we're here is to speak with the bookbinders. Not so much the bookbinders anymore. We're kind of past the point of uh, needing rep other than with robots, I would say. <gasps> Radio powered. This is it. If you see... Since we're doing a little tutorial kind of playthrough here. If you see radio powered, buy it. Even if you don't have Tinker 2 yet, you might get it eventually. Radio powered, incredible. One of the best level 2 uh, modifiers you can get. Especially if you can put it on a uh, a nuclear cell or an antimatter cell. You do need tinkering level 2 for it. But it means that, for example, let's just take a look at our chem cell, right? We make it radio powered. It gets charged up slowly over time as long as you're like close to the surface you can still be underground if you go too deep it won't it won't get charged but it means it's a free way of charging up nuclear cells antimatter cells all of that good stuff without having to spend bits to recharge them love it okay now we start checking all these kippers and icor merchants there's some warm static. We could do something with that. I don't really want to mess with that right now. Warm static. If you drink it or pour it over somebody, it basically completely rearranges your DNA. More or less. I'm looking specifically for like cloning draft 
or Neutron Flux. Although I will admit I'm kind of terrified of using Neutron Flux since I am quite invested in this character. Drum loaded, scoped. I mean, we could learn scoped. It's going to give us a slightly higher chance to hit. Uh, why not? You know what? We haven't actually, despite all of this stuff I'm buying, we've barely delved into uh, tinkering at all on this character so far. I think because we took it so late, we're still kind of playing catch up in terms of collecting all the bits we need. But, uh, you know, better late than never. See, what we could try and do is, like, okay, try and proselytize uh, these bookbinders and bring them back to the stilt and have all of our traders in a single location. There we go. That's something I like to do. Get rid of all of this garbage here. Right, we have some Neutron. Um, nobody else here. Famished, of course. Max Drafter. Airfoil, Lacquered, Phase Conjugate. Phase Conjugate's kind of fun. But we're not really doing a very grenade-y build. All right. What I'm mostly looking for, honestly, are drops of nectar. Drops of nectar are incredible. Padded. Wait, didn't we need padded? Five metered items. Five padded items. Yes, we do need padded. Uh, do we already know it, though? That's the question. We do not know it. Okay, so let's buy that. And we are done here. So we can now make things padded, and I don't know if we know metered. Let's see, did we learn how to make metered stuff yet? Any day now. Yes, we know metered also. Okay, so we can go and hand in some some stuff to the Beatles. That might not be a bad idea, actually. Let's see if we have um we have a bunch of chem cells here. So let's see if we can give them metered. It's just a one and two bit, okay. Perfect. How many do we need? Let me just check. This will give us a tome of wonder. And this will give us height and skill. Okay. We need five metered items. Let's do that right now. And we can do that on the way back. We can drop off. Three. Four. Five. There we go. For padded, we're going to want to pick up crappy, crappy armor. To do, because it will be cheaper. See if we we have some chain mail here, that's about it. Um Oh you fool. You should never have come here. Try not to shoot anybody. Definitely need to invest in a, a, a better ranged weapon, I think. This is good for the clairvoyance that it gives us, but... Beyond that, it's not very great. Okay, um, let's preserve our foods here. Oh, and also let's remember to eat. Okay. Um, so I've had some crashes recently. I'm just going to... You can press F5 to quick save. You still obviously die when you die, but it at least guarantees the game has saved at that point. Um, Alright, so 
Let's go hand in this... These metered items back at Bethesda Sousa. Wow, what are you, what is an Addy doing here? Go hand these back in. See what tome. I don't know if this means that we'll get a legendary book from it or or what. Then we're going to jump back to Ezra real quick. And then the freehold and just see if we can buy anything there. Remember, we're looking for we cloned Tilly a bunch of times last episode, so we're looking for um as many metamorphic polygels as we can get our grubby little rat paws on. Are you the beetle I'm looking for? No. Then good day to you, sir. Are you the beetle I'm looking for? No. Good day to you, sir. Are you the beetle I'm looking for? You are, but not right now. Of course, it's going to be the last one. Hey -o. There we go. Yes. He gives us a copy of Opus of the Adopted Scroll. Let's take a look at this. Also, let's ID this grenade. Um... I guess it will be under books, right? Damn. Okay. It's a copy of Aphorisms About Birds, but it increases the intelligence of anyone who reads it. Our current intelligence being 24. So let's read it. Birds can't eat rice that wasn't planted. Our intelligence has increased by one. I wonder if we cloned this, if we could get um, unlimited intelligence gains. I don't think we could. I don't think the game would allow that, but I am curious. I'm very curious about that. I also wonder how much this book is worth if we hand it in at the stilt. If it's worth a good chunk of XP, it may be worth cloning regardless, so we can power level. Um, anyway, let's go over to Ezra. First and foremost. Yo, what up? What do you got for me, buddy boy? Um, Number four bit. We'll take a number four bit. Sure. With cheese, please. There we go. Uh, bing bong. Poly gel time, baby boy. Um, okay, well, this isn't worth a... A lot of money um so just just curious as to uh how much we'd get for that at the stilt it's a shame we've just come back from there i would love to uh to know like right now oh my god new rush effort you know what honestly it may be worth going back i hate to be running around so much like this but it may be worth us going back to the stilt right now or uh, at least after we visited uh, the freehold here and by the way you know this is what happens in the kind of mid to i almost tr trod on that clam then i really don't want that this is what happens uh to in cud as you get into the mid to late game there's lots of back and forth trading kind of going on airfoil liquid cooled spring loaded here we go we need some number eight bits we'll take the number fives as well good trades We're just going to check Tilly for any more poly gels. And then we just pop back to the stilt. And then we will um, go on our way and try and do these quests. Let's see a chrome loon. So this is the end game armor. The first one we've seen. Obviously we can't equip it because we have a carapace. But you can see 8 armor value minus 2 dodge. Right? And as you can see here with carapace... Next level, we get 8 armor minus 2 dodge. So it's the equivalent of Zeta Chrome Loon, except for it has better resistances. The downside being you can't tinker. 
with actual armor obviously you can tinker it make it good you can't do that with carapace which is why i was a bit sad when we initially picked it up but now i'm kind of happy about it anyway what else do you have you have a bunch of flawless stuff including a flawless mace i may want to pick that up what are we currently using we've got a flawless battle axe a flawless mace and a flawless battle axe um I think I kind of like what we're what we're using right now. Also, did I buy out those micro those meta crystals? I did. Okay. You see, we need a number seven bit, real bad. Let's check all of the rest of these guys here. Flawless hat. Obviously, we can't use that again. This is four armor value minus one dodge value. With our horn giving us. Currently, 5 armor value with no negative dodge value. This is why Horn is so good. Downside, obviously, being you can't tinker. I have a terrible... I say terrible. I have a feeling this may be something I'm looking for. Which is to say, it may be an arc winder. I know exactly what this is. This is a cycle flesh gun. I know I'm saying a lot of words right now. A cycle flesh gun is a gun that scales with your ego. However, once you equip it, you can't unequip it unless you literally melt your hand off. Um, so I'm not going to buy it. Also, we don't have very good ego, so there'd be no point. Okay, you are selling a couple of nuclear cells. It may be worth picking these up, not only because they're useful, but because you can rip them apart and grab a number six bit. Flawless crystal gauntlets. Now, we're currently using... Uh, owner stimulators, I believe. I think it may be time that we switch over to get the most armor value we can. We're going to need two pairs, of course, to get uh, the full uh, effect. Otherwise, this will be halved. Um... But I'm happy to buy at least one pair right now. We can, of course, if, if it comes to it, we could clone it. But what we really want to be cloning is either that book we just picked up or the uh, the legendary Ears Nectar Injector that we've been holding on to. We also have the Ceremonial Vibro Capesh that I completely forgot about. Um, it's a great weapon. Almost makes me want to spec into Longblade just so we can use it. However... I don't think it's worth it at this point. I don't want to sell it though. It feels wrong to sell it. Let's keep checking these tillies. Which one did I just trade with? It was you. We'll grab the nuclear cells as well. Sure. I have way too many solar cells. We'll grab those nuclear cells. And let's also pick up. Uh, like two silver nuggets. Sure. Uh, how much does this weigh? Five. That could also be something I'm looking for. Okay. And finally, we have the very last Tilly here. Doesn't have another pair of gloves, unfortunately. Has a sturdy flawless crystal mace, which is kind of nice. Still don't really care about sturdy too much, but it's pretty sweet regardless. Um... Alright. And of course, we do still need a chest to bring over here. I keep forgetting. Um, let's speak here with Kirka, just see if they have anything. Alright. Um, I know we have stuff to do, but uh, why don't we head back... To the stilt real quick because I firstly I think it will get us a level up from the Resha floor but also because I think uh, I just want to test we'll go back we'll go from Jopper I want to test if this book gives a bunch of XP and if it does we can clone it electromagnetically shielded um, phase cannon will be a level 3 Okay. 
Keep moving. Oh, we found a lair. A legendary glow pad. Okay. We can go say hi. Always worth just checking who has what rep, you know? What if this glow pad has rep with robots? You know? That makes it all worth it. Try not to piss anybody off. Okay, clearly we've been, yeah, over here. Look, you can see there's a bone worm. There we go, we just killed it. It's going to be cutting off a bunch of the roots around here. As well as the stupid Gershling. So keep going down. Found the Goat Folk Village. Oh! Resonance Grenade Explosion. Remember, ye skeptics, in the year of dismembered aristocracy and alliance, two equines and baboobs broke faith with Ushid. Cool. Tell someone who cares, buddy. Alright. Still haven't seen the legendary. I, I have a terrible feeling the legendary may have just been killed. Yeah. Yep, that is exactly what's happened. Alright, well, we tried. Yeah, the legendary is not appearing in our um, point of interest, so it was probably killed either by a centipede or by uh, that that guy with the bow. Let me cook. Um, are we near Joppa? No, we moved away from Joppa, didn't we? Okay. Uh, Let's preserve our fresh foods. Oh, we should also cook our neutron flux. And hope that we don't explode. There we go. Plus one AV permanently. We didn't explode. Which is always a relief. There's nothing better than not exploding. That's what my mum always said to me. Alright, so first things first here. Speak to Zappa. 12,000 XP. Oh, so close to a level. Okay, and then... Let's just see how much this... Ah, uh, it's only worth 400. It's only worth 400. So I'm just going to get rid of it. But that's a good thing in a way, because it now means we can use our polygel here. And we can pop another legendary Eater's Nectar inje Injector, which is right here. We have so much stuff on us right now. There we go. All right, let's use one of these. See what we get. We get two mutation points. Very cool. With that, we can level up Carapace, finally, for one extra AV. That will now be capped, since we haven't rapidly advanced it. So that's done. We can probably then go it's either between horns. We do need to put two points into horns to see any real benefit. Or multiple arms. I think we're just going to go horns. We can get horns to level 16, since it's been advanced twice. Um... It's been advanced rapidly enough three times, so we can actually get it to level 19, I think. Let's go once, and then next time we level up, we'll get extra damage. Um, and we'll go from there. But Carapace is done. Congrats to us. Is there anything in this? Yeah, there's a load of crap in here. I wonder if we can take all of this without getting overloaded. Hmm. Do it anyway. Oh, we also had a mission to recover something that we found earlier. That's great. How overloaded are we? Oh, barely. 
These empty injectors rip them all apart. There we go. Um, rip these all apart. We have scrap that we need to uh, also take apart here. Every little helps. And why don't we drop... Honestly, this musket, rip it apart. These are heavy. There we go. We're now within our weight limit. Let's grab this chest. I know this has been pretty uneventful so far, but we're about to go to the Rainbow Woods, so things are about to get a little bit more spicy. I, that clam, I don't like the position of that clam. It's right in the way. Also, all of Tilly's stuff has just restocked, so let's drop this chest here. And let's just see... Oops. Let's see if she has anything. Another pair of flawless gauntlets. Perfect. It's exactly what we're looking for. Um, we have an obscene amount of solar cells. So let's get rid. And let's equip our new gloves. We are going to lose the, uh, the extra strength and agility from these. However... It will be worth it ultimately. Let's make sure we take the nuclear cells out of here. It'll be worth it ultimately because we'll be got we'll be getting armor value, and we'll also be getting uh, when we make these gesticulating, we'll be getting a bigger strength bonus. So, for example, look these these will give us plus six strength each, so twelve strength. Um, we just need that pesky number seven bit. Alternatively, actually no, ignore that. There's no alternatively. What's our armor value right now? It's 22. That's all right. That's looking okay. It's nice to have a high armor value and still have a little bit of dodge value. All right, let's just check everything else that Tilly has here. We didn't really look through properly. Next one. Our very first Taco Suprema. This used to be a lot more common. Um, it's a lot harder to find now. This is the best trade good in the game. You can see that they weigh nothing. And they ha they're, they're worth, currently with our current ego, they're worth 649 each. We'll sell it for a little bit less. But it's a good thing to put your um, money into if you're struggling to... And also, our first Zeta Chrome weapon. One thing we are looking for is Zeta Chrome weapons also. Specifically Zeta Chrome uh, axes and cudgels. I think we will buy our, our very first Taco Suprema here. Let's get rid of these Ulna Stimulators. I'm not going to be equip equipping them anytime soon. Um, there we go. Taco number one. Achieved. So my personal best is I've had, I think... Somewhere within the range of 80 to 90 tacos at a time. That was back in the day though when they were less rare. Might be a good idea to start buying out all of these unknown artifacts also. Just to get them ID'd. Ooh, Psychic Meridian. So this gives you uh, mental armor, which is pretty hard to get unless you have high willpower. So this is something you might want to equip if you're going against uh, particularly... If you're playing as a uh, Esper, for example, a Psychic Meridian is great because you're going to be getting a lot of invaders because your Glimmer will be high. Glimmer is something that you accrue uh, as you get more powerful uh, as an Esper. And having this is just going to mean that your head's not going to get exploded as often by uh, a fellow Esper, you know? Uber Nostrum. You always want to buy Uber Nostrum injectors as well. I know I'm saying a lot of stuff this episode, but hopefully it's all very useful. I'm going to call this one the, the tutorial episode. Engraved. Here we have a halberd. I do love halberds, as you know. It's not flawless, so I'm not going to buy it, but halberds are great. Um, let's buy... How much does this weigh? Eight. I'm going to buy this, see what it is. 
probably like a spacer rifle or something. But we have stuff to spend. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of the Warhammer. Unfortunately, it's a great weapon. It's also flawless. But I think I would rather have... With, with multiple arms, I would rather have single weapons. In each hand, rather than a two-handed weapons. Unless the two-handed weapon is incredibly good. Like Zeta Chrome good. Alright, let's see what we just bought. It's a space of pistol. I thought we'd already ID'd that. That does have a number 7 bit. We could rip it apart. It's a very expensive way of getting a number 7 bit though. Considering we just paid like 1800 for it or whatever it was. Um, let's find the next most expensive trinket. And buy it out and see what we get. I think it may be... This. Which weighs 5. Got so many stun rods, it's unbelievable. And let's get rid of some of these chrome revolvers. Okay, we bought a space inverter. Huh, I wasn't expecting that. So if you're going after a particular achievement that's very hard to get, this is a good thing to have. You do need a modifier for it. I'm not going to spoil anything, but uh, space inverter is kind of cool. Wherever you shoot the space inverter, you will swap places with whatever you hit. So it can be pretty good. Anyway, that's enough of me yapping. Let's put some stuff away here. We still don't have that precious uh, metamorphic polygel. That's fine. Plenty more opportunities for that. Um, might be worth keeping the spacer pistol on us. It does do decent damage, but uh, I don't really want it. I would rather have an arc winder, which is kind of what I was looking for. The ape pelt and the crayons. You know what? Let's just put most of our trade goods away for now. Normally I wouldn't do that, but we, we definitely want to keep a bunch of this stuff in the chest so that we're light. We're not going to be picking up much in the rainbow wood, but... It doesn't hurt, you know? And before we head out, let's just speak with Bep once more here. See if you have any number 7 bits. I would love that. Face harmonics also really cool. In fact, we, we, we will buy that. Face harmonic could be really useful when we start dealing with enemies that are phased. Partial nanomatter assembly, number 5. There we go. And phase harmonic. Get rid of some of these solar cells. So we're still looking for that precious number 7 bit. So we can um, get a bunch of extra strength. But for now, feeling pretty good. Let's finally head into the rainbow wood. Uh, I guess we'll try and walk there. As long as we don't get lost, we should be fine. I'm not going to explore anything in the deep jungle just yet. So with the heart of the wood I've explained before, all of these tiles here, they're the same except for this one. You see this one has a more bulbous center. This is the official middle. Problem being, when you step into the rainbow wood, you don't go to the center, pa center uh, tile of a parasang like you normally would with any of these other maps. It's random. So the best thing to do, if you want to go to the actual center, is to start in the jungle tile, which puts you in the center of the, pa of the parasang, and then move down manually. So after this map here, we will be in our first ever rainbow wood. See, easy as that. Just avoid the friggin' mushrooms. I recommend using shift enter to move to the edge of the map, letting the, the game do it for you. As it will avoid any accidental mushrooms. 
and again and again and this will put us in the official middle parasang that we're here for we just now have to find a um, bunch of mushrooms which i think should be on this map yep there we go and that's how you find the middle also we just hit level 30 ding i mean we are next for a mushroom there uh okay this is what we came for let's level up um i said we wanted to go spiral horn again there we go now do 2d8 damage next level we get one extra armor value from it as well we have 400 skill points we, okay we, we're starting to um to stockpile quite a lot of these i do want to i don't know if having multiple arms allows us to use these abilities since they're not in our main hand see it just says make an attack with a cudgel it doesn't say with a attack with a cudgel in your main hand so we may give it a go we'll see if conk works for example you see this for example backswing we'll get no benefit from because it says when you make a cudgel attack with your primary hand we are using our horn as our primary weapon so unfortunately we don't benefit from this um anything else that we want to pick up i mean we have decided to spec into pistol we might want to pick up like weak spotter or disarming shot or dead shot as well could be good similarly shield skills would be nice we're not really going short blade anymore juke is also really useful allows you to move uh, a square with no action cost Heavy weapons, similarly. Um, incredible late game weapons. Oh, we haven't even picked up self-discipline yet. What the hell? Okay, well, let's pick up at least self-discipline for meditate and fasting way. Fasting way is going to be huge. Um, I can't believe we've not picked up. That's like normally the first thing I go for. And why don't we just try? Let's grab... Um, Let's grab Conk and see if we can use it. Just curious. So if I press 2. Ah, damn it. Okay, that's exactly what I thought. You must have a cudgel in your main hand to Conk. That's fine. You know, we tested it. It didn't pay out. That's fine. Okay. So dismember similarly we can't use because you need to have it in your primary hand so let's actually just move all of this stuff out of here okay anyway here we are we have uh the mushroom here we're gonna harvest this we see we get eaters flesh we're gonna eat it right here under food we're now going to trip. Also, it means if I use auto, auto move here, very slow, we're going to notice this path. We've harvested a bunch of eaters flesh, which we didn't really want, but that's fine. We're now going to follow this path. Normally, these guys would all be hostile to us. These guys can really, really suck. By the way, if you're looking for a good companion... These are it. You just want to walk them over as many liquids as possible so they get more and more powerful. Don't walk them over lava. If I can give you one tip, don't let them walk through lava. There we go. We'll give him some of that. You see the slime catalyzes the honey mono sludge into a honeyed slimy dye sludge. We're going to keep doing that. We're just going to allow them to walk over this wine, for example. It's now a tri sludge. And then it will be a quad sludge, etc, etc. Keep following the orange path here. No! I saw it and I was still like, somehow didn't react in time. We're good, we're good. We're good. We shook it off. 
God, we're good. I'm a little worried about you. No, you're fine. Okay, good. We're fine. That would have been annoying. Although it would be funny for us to get a fungal infection. Just so we can uh, go through the whole process of getting rid of it. Okay, here's some honey. Come down here, my friend. Okay. It's now a penta sludge. Good, good, good. We're getting there. Here we are. This is uh, this is the house of Pax Clank. I'm just going to casually smash his wall down. You can get in there other ways, but... Just for our sake, we're just going to speak with Pax here. You can see, uh, hated by Snapjaws, hated by Fruit Baskets Clan, which is hilarious. Um, we will do the water ritual with Pax. He's a good guy. You can also get Mumble Mouth for free from him in this instance. Um... I don't want mumble mouth. We're about to get a fungal infection anyway. You can say I'm here to collect the debt for the Baraphromites. He says I don't care about debts. There we go. Yeah, we go. I care a little for debt. Anything I can do to change your mind. He says yes. Clank puff on me. So now this guy's going to give us a fungal infection. Uh, which we're then going to have to go and spread over randomly generated items and creatures or in randomly generated locations. This is a side quest, but I do want to do it because I don't want to have a fungal infection. Um, as for the limb, we are going to select... You know what? Put it on my tail. There we go. We now have the blueprints for the climber. We go back to Gritgate. We hand these in. And if we look at our body now, you can see our tail now has clank on it, which actually comes with one armor value, which is pretty good. Just something to note. And if we look at our quest log, you can see we have a bunch of options. We need to spread clank deep in the earth, so at least 20 levels down. We need to do it in Rusted Archway. That's a really easy one. This is a really easy one. This is Red Rock. For the right Flake Armor, that one's a bit more hard. The Ape Village. Kyakukya. Uh, easy to do. And a Leather Cloak. So three of these, super easy. This is also quite easy to do. Um, leather Cloak, that should also be pretty easy. So, kind of happy about that. And now that we've done that, we can... Uh, we can leave. Let's go back to Joppa. I want to see here if Tam is selling a leather cloak. They are not. That's fine. Let's go speak with Argive as well. Um, nothing we want there. Alright, so we need to go to Rusted Archway. Let's try and bash this one out because um, we need to go Red Rock first. Um, I'm going to tell you to wait here. Which is... Why can I not see it? Here we go. S. Stay. Okay. We're just going to go over here. And we are going to activate Puff Spores. There we go. There's one done. I'm going to tell you to come with me now, my friend. Um, which is come along. C. Okay, so S and C. Uh, by the way, I'm using Clever Girl. You can find the link down below if you want to use Clever Girl. And another legendary glowfish lair. What I really want to avoid here is giving my follower clank because they're going to start puffing it out if they get infected by it. Which means we can get reinfected later on. Which obviously we don't want. 
just going to let my follower do all of the killing here because um, I really don't want to get involved. I don't want to accidentally spread fungal infection to everybody on the map. Just fear for the legendary glow pad to try and farm some rep. However, a bunch of shit just died over here, so... stuff. By the way, this guy is getting incredibly powerful. This is now a Hepta Sludge, meaning it's got seven different modifiers on it. Depending on what those modifiers are, uh, they can get really, really powerful. Including the ability to uh, disarm opponents. All kinds of good stuff. Hey, you look like a legendary. Yeah. Hated by the freehold, loved by fish, just like by... Okay, you kind of suck. Honestly? We're leaving. Was worth a look, though, you know? So now we are going to go to Rusted Archway, which we haven't actually explored yet. If you're a um, playing as a Trukin, you always want to come to Rusted Archway. It's got lots of good stuff. Right, whilst you're fighting over here, I'm going to go puff some Clank. If you know what I'm saying. There we go. That's another location done. Let's leave. Um, we also have the ape village. I think we have the recoiler for that. We do not have the... Have we even been to the ape village yet? No, we haven't. That's crazy. Okay. Well, welcome to the Ape Village. This is where you come when you want to learn how to cure a fungal infection. Or pick up a, a certain quest. There's also Yarl here. Not a very good trader, but they're okay. I'm not even going to buy the Recoiler. We can take a quest from this guy, by the way. This is Warden Indrix. He wants us to go and pick up a artifact. We'll just say no, continue. Accept quest. There we go. And maybe we'll get round to that at some point. We're a little over leveled for it now, but let's just go up here where there's no people. Just tell you to stay here for a moment. And we're just going to puff our spores. There we go. There's another one done. Okay. Then come along, my friend. Let's leave. We now just have to go down 20 levels. Or get a leather cloak. Um, actually, let me check if Yarl has a leather cloak for sale. No. Okay. Something like a leather cloak you'll probably get from a snap jaw or something like that. Luckily, I do kind of know a location where we can go. I just want to get this quest done before we can um, go do the next, which is a huge dungeon, which is the Tomb of the Eaters. Uh, if you go down this way, by the way, as soon as you have entrance to Gritgate, you can go down real deep. You also have a, a good chance of finding... Some decent... Okay, that's what I didn't want to happen. I don't want you to get infected. So we're literally just going to try and find the stairway. There's a lot of good stuff here to loot. I found poly gel down here before. It's going to happen, isn't it? You're going to get infected regardless. If you do, I can just make a fungal cure for you. Here we go. And this will easily get you down to level 20. Yeah, you can see that you now have Clank. Which means I may have to get rid of this follower. Because um, I don't want that.
By the way, if you're after crafting bits, great place for it. Let's keep moving here. see a lot of decent stuff down here also pretty decent place to level I mean not for us we're, we're definitely over leveled for this place but and I'm not really fully exploring it right now but it is worth coming back to Go 10 strata deep, halfway there. Whoa, 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 living on a prayer, etc. Mr. Bovine Journey, 1980. 1989? 1988? When did that song come out, Living on a Prayer? Was it early 90s? I feel like it was definitely late 80s. Let's keep moving, keep schmoving. You look at this stuff. There's just advanced toolkits just on the floor here. <gasps> Pog. Pog me once, fall on you. Pog me twice, fall on me. Okay. Um. This is huge. Give me. They're broken. We can repair them. What? Okay, this is why you always want to come here. Look at this. We just found a pair of helping hands, which if you don't know... What are we currently wearing on our back? A body pack. Yeah, goodbye. So, Helping Hands gives us even more friggin' arms, dude. Look at this. There you go, we can now re-equip this axe. You see it also inherits the, uh... Oh, two more, two more arms, another pair of gloves as well that we can get. This is great. Finding those Helping Hands is honestly huge. Didn't even consider it. That's a huge get for us. Grab these advanced toolkits. Check these chests. Alright. There we go. Uber Nostrum Injector. Just for free. Just sitting there. Actually, you know what? Uh, I hate to do this. Uh, we are almost at time here. I don't want to go over an hour. We're going to end here. When we come back, we're going to fully explore this place down to level 20 until we get rid of our clank. And uh, you can see right now we have itchy skin as well, which I only just noticed. Um, probably want to go get that fixed up above. Before, you know what, before we go, let's go and get the itchy skin fixed. And that is coming from probably our followers clank so we may we may have to dismiss our follower permanently to avoid that happening over and over which is a real shame because they're powerful however we can go get another one it doesn't take long to level up a uh, a sludge I'm so happy about this helping hands, dude. So if you have itchy skin and you have access to grit gate, you're going to want to come here. And you can sleep. Get this guy out of here. We're going to want to sleep in this hyperbiotic bed here. And if you're lucky, this will dissipate. There you go. It's gone already. Look. That saves you getting a fungal infection. This sludge here, we're going to dismiss. And then uh, next time, thank you for your service, my friend. All right, when we come back, we will go down to layer 20 here, see what we can find. We have a pair of helping hands, which is huge. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy Caves of Cud content, please let me know. Remember to leave a like, helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.